Okay, here we go. This is part four of Build Your Own Tumblr from Hache Partworks. This is the end of the trial, unfortunately, because we get a letter from Hache Partworks saying it's a limited four issue run and you've got the option for a free gift if you'd really want to. It's a shame because it's a, a nice build so far and hopefully they'll go on a full run. Anyway, let's have a look at the magazine. Yes, indeed. The last one, part four. And just quick look through the magazine there. I do like that. That brings back memories. And then we've got some instructions to go by and it looks like we can get our teeth into some serious work here. And then once completed, that will look like that. So let's have a look at the parts we get with this magazine. Okay, so uh, here we go. These are the parts we get the, with the magazine. And to the left, these are all plastic parts. And of course, those being plastic, these are gonna be the metal. And we've got a various selection of screws, which is pretty amazing. So let's crack on with the build. For this first part, We've got the small part, or the slightly raised part, and I do believe that fits in like that. And that will look like that, if you can see. And then we just secure it with two of these AM screws. So once completed, that will look beautiful, just like that. And we get this nice rod, and that's got to fit over that side in that trench on top and this bad boy gets secured in with am screws so the, uh, this part has got a little sticky out part <laughs> that's the only way to describe it or a nodule or so that just gets one of these am that we've used previously And that's that section done. Then we move that to one side, bring in these brakes, and you've got a part sticking up there that just fits on top, just like that. And that gets secured in with some SP screws. And it's just two of those on this occasion. So once completed, that will look like that. Very nice indeed. Put that to one side. Need to bring this part in and this part. It was at this moment that he knew. He f***ed up. Confession time. I put this in the wrong way round. Uh, it's now corrected, so I just took that all apart. Switched that round so that's facing in the right orientation. And that gets put into place. With two screws and they are GM screws and it suggests that you uh, put one in first once you've got that then you flip it over and put the other one in after a bit of a battle got there in the end so that's moving like that interesting then we need to get this and that just gets attached in there with an ABM screw so that takes us up to that stage then that linkage is going to fit over the top here just like that and then for this one we need a um screw which is i believe a flange screw so interestingly enough that does that. Oh, look at that movement. Look at that. That's precision. <laughs> mm. 
precision control for you. Look at that. Lovely. The next stage is to bring the wheel in. And we've got those two parts there. So don't forget, like I just did, to put your washer on the, the screw. And it's just a case of screwing that in. And you've got that movement there. And that movement there, look at that. And all we've got to do to finish off this one is just put that little cap in there. And that just looks like that completed from that side. And from the other side, that's what it looks like. Quite nice. And it rolls along. Beautiful. So, let's con let's conclude all the parts we've got. We've got that part. Got the the signage, of course. Put that way, that way. Got the front cab and that part there. So that concludes the Batmobile Tumbler build. Hope you enjoyed that one. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you on the next one.